You told me I wasn't a clone. You're not a clone. And who is that? Uh, uh, a clone? Dad? I feel like I've spent my life pretending you're a great guy and trying to be like you. And the ugly truth has always been... That I'm not that great a guy and you're exactly like me. When you know nothing matters, the universe is yours. And I've never met a universe that was into it. The universe is basically an animal. It grazes on the ordinary. It creates infinite idiots just to eat them. You know, smart people get a chance to climb on top, take reality for a ride, but it'll never stop trying to throw you. And eventually it will. There's no other way off. Dad, I'm out of excuses to not be who I am. So, who am I? What do I do? My advice? Take off. Put a saddle on your universe. Let it kick itself out. I can't do that. The kids, Jerry, my job, and as much as I hate to admit it, ABC's The Bachelor. I can make a clone of you. A perfect instance of you with all your memories, an exact copy in every way. It'll love and provide for the kids, do your job, and consume broadcast network reality TV on the same allegedly ironic level as you. You could be gone a day, a week, or the rest of your life with zero consequences. The moment you decide to come back, I flip a switch, and the clone's job is done. It feels no pain, regrets nothing, and has zero chance of going Blade Runner. I don't know if I can do it. Then stay, and luxuriate in a life you can finally know you've chosen. My secret bonus is that no matter what you choose, you're finally gonna chill the fuck out. Okay. I know what I wanna do. I want you to decide. What? For once in my life, I want you to decide, Dad. Do you want me to stay here and be part of your life, or do you want me to leave? Big money. Eyes on the lady. Switcheroo. Don't you ever miss Earth? I don't have to miss it. I'm technically still there. My dad made a perfect clone of me to take my place. Boy, that Rick. So if you do go back, what happens to the clone? Does it have like a proximity triggered device in its neck? Who cares? Are we done? Sure. Unless you want me to remove the proximity triggered device from your neck. You're back. You seem surprised. You never wrote. And never exploded. What I'm hearing is that you think that's a bomb. So does every engineer that's seen it. Engineer? Princess, I'm sure every caveman that sees a microwave calls it a rock cabinet. The point of inventing is to make things that don't exist. Then whip me up a reason not to kill you. Dad, we're off to Dr. Wong. Scan her. Dad? Okay, have fun, pumpkin. Sorry, I'm a piece of sh father. Oh, <laughs> well, the self-loathing buys a lot back. The device in her neck would have transferred a database of her memories to your device before vaporizing her. So much for that plan. Why is she it? Why am I back with Jerry? I thought she was a copy of me. She is a copy of you. If she ran back to that dingleberry, that's on you. Want to grab a drink? All the time. Good girl. My daughter, having space adventures. <laughs> They are skewing a tad Star Wars-y, though. It's your hero phase. I had one too. You'll outgrow it. No, you did. I'm not gonna outgrow giving a sh Sources tell us these aliens who call themselves the new Galactic Federation will blow up the planet unless some woman with a very boring name- Oh shit, they're gonna track down Beth. You mean Beth's clone? Right, Beth's clone. What, what did I say? It really was nice seeing you again. My superiors have some questions about the Defiance. I don't have a... I have a Defiance? Oh god, I'm a clone. Everybody in the car! You're not a clone. And who is that? Uh, uh, a clone? Why would you make a clone of me just to send the clone into space? Well, you didn't want to go, and I thought, okay, that's cool. But then I thought, well, you, you know what would be even cooler? Is a space daughter? So I made one, and I put a bomb in her neck in case she ever came back. Father of the year! She wasn't supposed to come back! Why did she? Well, she found a bomb in her neck, wouldn't you? I'm tired of believing you. I want to talk to her. No, you don't! Jerry, do something! Hey! He told me you're the clone. What do you think he told me? You're the clone? Wow, naive and attractive. Wow, jaded and hot. Down, don't wait, so there are two of them. 
More importantly, which one is mine? Uh, neither, chauvinist. Whatever, take them both. Red alert, red alert, Rick Sanchez. <laughs> More like dead alert. What else, what else? I wrote some stuff down in my notes app. Let me just find it. Screw it. Beth, if, if one of you is still alive, you're my real daughter. If you're both alive, don't hurt the other one. She's just a clone. She's not worth it. I'm coming, baby. That piece of shit. Piece of shit. I came back to kill him, you know. I'd like to help. Kick me between my eyes. From here? Oh, you dropped yoga so you could buy Jerry more Flintstones by- <laughs> Kill good bug for a horse doctor. Thanks. Me? Maybe we could do like a parrot trap thing together sometime. As long as you mean the Lindsay Lohan version. Naturally. You jerk offs ready to get the answers to your burning questions? What's this, Dad? The memory of which Beth is real and which Beth is a clone, obviously. You mind blew yourself? You, you, you literally don't even know which of your daughters is real. Of course you don't. Why am I surprised? I'm sure you'd love for us to need that from you, but I don't care what's in that vial. Yeah, me neither. You're a piece of shit either way. So what, after all this, you, you don't want to know the truth? The truth is we have more important shit to do, like raise our kids and stamp out the Federation, neither of which seem like they want anything to do with you. <laughs> Morty, some some, you gotta at least wanna know who your real mom is. Not really, Rick. We have two badass moms now. It's, that's kind of a win-win. Yeah, Grandpa Rick, don't drag us into your bullshit just because you're losing control. You should probably get back to saving the galaxy. Or you could stick around for this one. Uh, fine, yeah, okay, let's make it quick. Awesome. I've never been, let's do this. Okay, adventure family, woo! <laughs> Now the hard part. Hard part? Way worse things than me can see that beacon too. Hunker down and protect it while I grab Morty. Rick out. Try to survive. Oh shit. Domestic mom should hide maybe. Domestic mom? I mean, she's the cool space one. Look, I'm not looking to get caught in whatever this is. You guys could both hide me. Cash it out. Oh, quit talking down. I'm you with the patience to do laundry. Mom, stop being jealous of our bond. She ran from our choices. I have to parent them. It's not like I didn't care. That's what the clone was for. Mom! Oh, fucking stupid fifth dimensional stomach juices. Sorry for the sitcom fight and maybe getting us digested. You've got incredible timing. Oh, don't be a bitch. I'm parenting. Makes sense you don't recognize it. You've been out of practice for a while. Good. I'm glad they have you. I don't want to be space mom. You've made that clear. Just don't let Summer mistake your rejection of her for good taste. I'm not trying to. It's all her. <laughs> Jesus, it'd be cool if you were around more. I don't want to get married. I'm 17. My affection is the win. Don't try to compete for it. Sorry, I was such a dance mom about Summer. She's your daughter, too. No, boundaries are good. But uh, speaking of, maybe I've put up too many. It's okay if I come around sometimes. That could be nice. That's a cute outfit. The one we always wear? Ah, uh, my lower back. Oh, I got this. Oh, Jesus, that was great. Well, you're me. <laughs> I find this is usually the biggest help. Mm. Oh, I just love the Venusian stuff. It's cool, I get insecure trying to pronounce this crap too. Of course, we both can't sleep at the same time. Yeah, we do share a shitty back. Turn around, at least let me. Yes, please. Oh my God. Okay, I know we're not massage people, but you need this. See, you act like you're this badass space cowboy, but I know you're just a scared little overachiever that keeps all her OCD right. Oh my God. Yeah. By the way, you better be taking notes. I'm next. I'm back, you dumb bitch. Nice. <laughs> what? Me and my space self are gonna make a run to the Gloppy Drop system for ice cream. How far is Gloppy Drop? And why do I always think I'm wearing a watch? I actually have a pint of Gloppy Drop on a little apartment orbiting Earth. So, we have time. You have your own space station? We have our own space station. We're the same person. There's differences. Like, one of us has no idea who she really is. Wrong. But let's make a deal. Let's trust ourselves enough to stop wondering who we are when we're together. We get to say anything to each other. Things we'd never say to anyone else, even ourselves. What don't we say to ourselves? How about, wow, my ass looks good in that spacesuit? I mean it. I'm a good looking woman. Well, that's nice of you to say. I also find myself quite attractive. We forgot the ice cream. <laughs> Mm. 
Do we owe the family an explanation? Do we have to spend our time together figuring out how to please others? I'm married. We both are, but I'm in our marriage. It's the defining difference between us. Well, there's no rule book that says you have to be. What's gonna happen? What is this? Are we in love with ourselves? I mean, does that make us the most or the least healthy woman in the universe? Anybody ever tell you you're overly analytical? Which I do love, if that's what you need to call it. I don't need to call it anything. I would like to know it's shelf life. I might know a way to gather that data. What the hell did you do in my holodeck? You did a full San Junipero in here? By all means, enjoy being sapphic horse girls together, but you suck at doing it secretly. They're right. Right about what? That we have to be twice as considerate and twice as repressed because some dick split us in two? This is the shit I left. This isn't. This is me. Jerry, I had sex with your wife. Or I'm your wife and had sex with the clone you sleep with. Your pick, we had sex, we loved it. Oh, what the fuck? That's a bug! Dad rolled into a bug! Why does Jerry have a pill bug protocol? It's an emotional defense system. I got drunk with Jerry one night and he said it's what he wanted most in the world. How do we undo it? Only he can, that's the point. It's total safety. This is classic Jerry. He'd rather be a bug than have a conversation. Oh, have you heard the way you start conversations? You ladies discuss responsibility while I get stoned and play video games with your kids. If you can hear me, please unroll. He doesn't want to. It's a little late to worry about what he wants. Jesus, Beth, don't fall for this. This isn't love, it's a tantrum. Yeah, but his tantrum is self-destructive. Yours is destructive. You're the housewife and I'm the space lady, but you're the one that chewed me up and spit me out. I don't want to just forget about you. <sighs> me neither. It's a problem. But we know someone that owes us a solution. You guys are having me eternal sunshine, all the multiplicity porn scenes from your minds. Yep, they sounds right. Meanwhile, everyone around you, your father, your cuckold husband, your jaded children will just happily and silently bear the burden because it's more practical for them than the truth and you don't care because it won't be your problem. When this fails and the two of you fall in love again and you attack me for taking part in this, I'm gonna lie and say I tried to talk you out of it for hours. In truth, I don't care. Three, Oh, for two. God's sake. Well, don't lobotomize yourselves for my comfort. I may be a man, but I'm also a baby. And babies don't take responsibility for other people's suffering. Jerry, don't leave angry. Well, should I float out on a lotus leaf? I have to be twice as confident because my wife cheated on me with herself? You don't even know which one is your real wife. If it's me, have you been cheating with a clone? I'm not the clone, but she has a point. Oh, what a provocative conversation. It would have been great to have before the two of you, and I am counting two, gave each other unfairly expert orgasms while mocking my weird little dick. Jerry, you're the only one who keeps saying weird and little. Well, you've both seen it, and you've both seen each other, and now you want to tell me all about it, but it's a little late. Oh my God, you're not mad that it was about you. You're mad that it wasn't. He wanted to permit our love. Okay, it's not Handmaid's Tale to loop in your husband. I agree, for the record, we made a mistake. Oh, because we should have noticed ourselves losing control and gone to sex master Jerry and said, oh pretty please, Jerry, can I make out with myself? Yes, you may. Yeah, see, not so hot when it's above board, home wreckers. Oh, so we won't enjoy this? Well, hold on, hold on, this is weird. Weird and permitted. Wait, you like this? Who cares what he likes? I do. I might like it, and if she likes it, I permit it. You little pervert. You like a little pervert. I like humiliating a little pervert. I approve, carry on. I'm freaked out by how hot this is. Thanks for visiting, Space Beth. Seems like we all learned a little lesson this weekend. At least I know I did. Me too, Jerry. Me too.